Waking Vigil versus Spare Rations. I farmed 300 Waking Vigils. Why the heck would I use Spare Rations instead? It doesn't make sense! Now, it actually took me longer to get my Spare Rations, and I only got three of them. But why? Why use this gun? People are shocked that I'm swapping from my God Rolled Waking Vigil, because my Waking Vigil is very good. I'm a very, very big fan of it. I put in a lot of effort to get my Waking Vigil. But this gun feels better. Stats-wise, they're both pretty similar, and Waking Vigil is pretty good overall. It's a very well-balanced gun, I think. It's got some good aim assist and recoil pattern and reload speed and all these different things. But Spare Rations edges it out in pretty much every single section, even if it's only a little bit here and there. But the big one is the magazine size. Now, the Waking Vigil has 14 because I'm using Backup Mag, giving me some additional shots. And magazine size for the way I play is very important because I'm using slide shot. Now, the more ammo in the magazine, the more ammo you get every time you slide. And it allows you to do some very, very aggressive things and outplay things because of slide shot and a high ammo economy. Now, I could push it further on the spare rations and I could get even more shots if I wanted to, but because the ammo is so high already, I'm able to slide around, get my ammo back, and enjoy another mod such as the Icarus. Now, spare rations also has more range, which we all know is extremely important on hand cannons because it makes it feel like the shots are connecting and registering at a distance. It makes it feel more precise. It also does maximum damage from a further range. And so if you're looking at just the base stats, spare rations wins in a lot of different areas here. Now, my waking vigil has one thing that's very interesting on it and very powerful and very delicious, and that is opening shot. Now, opening shot is fantastic. Opening shot extends the maximum hit range of this weapon pretty good. I don't know if it's one meter, one and a half, maybe two meters in a lot of situations, but it's only on the first shot. It also makes the hitbox on this thing nutty, and you can miss and still get a headshot. And so opening shot is a great perk to have, especially on a 150 hand cannon, because it makes the first shot a headshot in almost every situation. And that means that you only have to land two more to three-tap someone, right? That's important. That's good. That's really, really important. Now, the damage that this pushes out, like you can see here, I'm getting a headshot. I'm aiming at his chest, right? The damage I'm getting at this distance is awesome. I'm getting full damage pretty much with that opening shot. You can take a little break, slide out, slide behind cover, come back out, get that opening shot again. You can really abuse opening shot to tap people at a distance, get that full damage, get a pretty much guaranteed headshot. But there's one very important thing that I noticed with spare rations. Now take a look at this. Now I want to remind you that this spare rations does not have opening shot. It is not getting a opening shot perk. I did not swap out these guns. This is my rapid hit uh, slide shot spare rations. This is the only good one that I've ever gotten. I want you to look where I'm shooting, where I'm aiming at this guy, and the headshot. Okay, this isn't editing. This isn't a meme. Look at this. <laughs> Hold on a second. Wait, what? I'm aiming at his penis, and I'm getting a headshot. All right? So this is a little far out. This one's this one's not going to count. But it almost feels like I have opening shot. Now this is a mixture of the range. This is a mixture of the aim assist stat. But this thing feels like I have opening shot. Now opening shot does push back the first bullet's damage quite a bit. Like a couple of meters for sure. And uh, you can kind of see it in this testing. I'm doing 67 damage in a lot of testing when I get into the 34, 35 meter range. But then my next bullet has a lot of damage fall off. And what I ended up finding is after looking at some of the ranges, you know, 35, 36 meters, I wouldn't have been able to get a three tap anyways. And so there's no real reason for that opening shot to even happen. It doesn't really impact things. And based on the opponent's armor and based on the range that I'm at, there are a lot of situations where my spare rations can three tap where my waking vigil can't. Even though my first bullet gets that nice boost of damage, there are some ranges where my spare rations does three or even four damage more than the waking vigil. Now, this is a pretty extreme thing, and in some cases it's at further, further ranges where I need to put 
seven shots into someone to kill them, but it does happen. But there are a lot of ranges where even with the opening shot, there is no advantage whatsoever that the Waking Vigil has. So now, Spare Rations has another benefit. As we said before, stats are pretty similar. Spare Rations has more range, so that's automatically a nice boost. It has more aim assist, which is another nice boost. Handling? Sure, I'll take it. Stability? It's one point. Who cares? Magazine size? Obviously great. But the big thing that makes Waking Vigil as good as it is, is the opening shot. I can slide shot, I can refill my ammo, I can pop in and out of cover, and the opening shot is beautiful, guaranteed headshots. Well, the spare rations feels almost identical, and so this opening shot is, is bringing nothing to the table. I might as well just take that perk and throw it away and pretend it's not there, and all of a sudden, spare rations has an entirely extra perk, and one of the best perks for PvP in the game. Rapid hit is nuts. It's like outlaw on steroids. It allows me to reload after a crazy fight, it allows me to increase the stability of the weapon further while landing headshots, and it makes this thing feel like a crispy murder machine. I'm telling you guys, my Waking Vigil is incredible. I love my Waking Vigil. I couldn't believe how good this Waking Vigil was. But after using spare rations, it is just the better gun, hands down, I would never even question it. And so feel of the gun aside, I think Spare Rations is the better gun. There's a couple other problems that are coming into the equation. One of them is a me issue, a completely me issue. I'm a YouTuber, I'm a Twitch streamer, people notice me in lobbies, they message me, but the biggest thing they do, and it's been happening more and more recently because of those Waking Vigil videos, is they equip Risk Runner. It happens every other game. I start playing with my Waking Vigil, Everyone switches, or two or three people switch to Risk Runner, and all of a sudden I'm shut down, and I can't even use the gun anyways. So, going with spare rations allows me to completely counter this, of the people trying to counter me. And another thing, the list continues. The spare rations is in the kinetic slot, and I have a drastically better shotgun in my energy slot than I do for my kinetic. So when using my spare rations, which I believe is the better gun, I also have a drastically, drastically better shotgun. Like not even a competition, this shotgun is so dirty. My favorite sniper is also in the energy slot, meaning I can use my beloved sniper if I would like to. But pairing up my spare rations with two of my favorite weapons is pretty much the perfect scenario. Like, why wouldn't I want to use it with an amazing secondary weapon as well? Now, the Revoker is in the Kinetic slot, the Supremacy is in the Kinetic slot, the Dust Rock Blues is in the Kinetic slot. There are options for good Kinetic secondary weapons, and so um, feel free to use those if you're using Waking Vigil. You're gonna have a good time, but this is a personal preference thing. I like the weapons, I'm going to stick with the Spare Rations. But I don't want to scare you completely away. I farmed this for 24 hours and I got an amazing one. I could have easily had to farm 100 or even 200 hours because getting a perfect roll or a near perfect roll like I got is, is like a 0.11%. To get every single slot you need is like a 0.11% average, I think is, is what the math is. It's extremely, extremely difficult. There are multiple barrels that can go wrong. There's multiple, um, you know, ricochet rounds or armor piercing rounds that can go wrong. There's a ton of different perks that can go wrong on this gun. And you have a piece of trash. And Waking Vigil, obviously, it's tough to get a good roll or the perfect roll on that one, but it's a lot more accessible. Until they buff the drop rates on spare rations, you are literally reaching into a haystack for not only a needle, but a piece of a needle praying that you can find just the tip of it. With the Waking Vigil, you can farm a ton of them, not as fast as you used to be able to, allowing me to make videos like this, but you can still farm them, and you can put the masterwork that you need on it, and you take a couple layers of RNG away here, and by the time it's all said and done, you can probably get 10 times or even 20 times the amount of Waking Vigils in the time span it would take you to get this. It might even be a, a larger ratio than that. And so, 
I mean, if you're looking for a good hand cannon, Waking Vigil is still incredible. If you get the good roll like I have, you can kill people from 33, 34 meters away. There's no complaints here. There, there's no way you can complain about this gun. Spare rations, again, needle in a haystack. It ended up being better. It works better with my energy weapons, and I am in love. If you guys want one, definitely put in the time when it's uh, the Oryx boss on Tier 2 Reckoning or play some Gambit Prime or whatever. But once those drop rates come up, um, unless they replace this with some other god-tier weapon, you need to get a spare rations. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.